BBC News. Reports from California say armed police have found a body in a, ba a van they had broken into as they were searching for the suspect in a mass shooting. Ten people were killed at a dance venue in Monterey Park in Los Angeles. It's believed the body found in the van was the suspect, who had apparently shot himself. The German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is facing growing pressure to allow German-built Leopard 2 tanks to be sent to Ukraine. His foreign minister, Annalena Baerbock, has repeated her view that Berlin should not stand in the way if Poland decided to do so. A member of the Ukrainian government has been dismissed for allegedly accepting a $400,000 bribe. Deputy Minister Vasil Lozinski was arrested on Saturday. President Joe Biden says the fight for abortion rights in America is not over. He was speaking on what would have been the 50th anniversary of the Roe v. Wade ruling, which was reversed by the Supreme Court last year. Police in Somalia say an Islamist militant attack on the mayor's office in the capital Mogadishu has left at least six civilians dead. They said five Al-Shabaab gunmen were also killed. Thousands of people have protested in Brussels against the jailing in Iran of a Belgian aid worker. Oliver van de Castelli was sentenced last month to 40 years in prison on spying and other charges. Relatives and friends of dozens of protesters detained in Peru after they stormed a university campus on Saturday are demanding information from the authorities. They've gathered outside police headquarters in Lima. The Portuguese footballer Cristiano Ronaldo has led his Saudi Arabian team, Al Nasser, to victory on his first match for the club. His team won the league game against Al Etifak 1-0.